As a reading teacher, I really need to know how fast they're reading, how, what their words per minute was. I would like to know how well they're understanding passages that they read. I need immediate feedback in the classroom. We have an innovative solution, and it's called Read Now. Read Now provides teachers with real-time, up-to-date data about their students. What are they doing right now? What have they done? And how can the teacher affect changes in the classroom to help students read better? Read Now is easy to implement because it's a multi-platform program. It works on all computer systems. It works on the iPad and other tablets. It can even work on smartphones. If you're a teacher, you'll be presented with two choices. The free reading option allows teachers to select passages from a list that they want their students to read. It also allows them to select the activities they want to engage in while doing the reading. The class reading is similar, except this time the teacher only chooses one passage. The students all read the same passage, they all do the same activities, and teachers can monitor what they're doing. Let's take a look at the free reading option. When teachers click, they can see a list of passages that they can choose from. The teacher might want the students to read The Black Sheep, Avalanche, and The Old Man and His Goat. They also have a list of activities that students can do. I want my students to do timed reading and vocabulary, so I select that. I also want them to do the quiz. When they click Start Reading, teachers will be able to see what reading each student is engaged in. As you can see, this is a little bit sped up, but gives a good example of how this works. As each student completes the passage, we can see their words per minute. As they answer a question, we can see how many they've done and which ones they've got correct. From this screen, you can look at student data and reading data. Let's take a look at the old man and his goat and the data for that reading. When you click on it, you'll quickly see that there are three columns. The first column has information about that reading. We have the grade level, how many words are in the passage. We also have the average words per minute of all the students who have read this passage. We have the average answers or the average percentage of correct answers. We have how many words were looked up and how many times they were looked up. The graph below shows the responses by the students. For example, on the first question, we can see that probably less than 10% got the answer right. We can see the reading passage here. The teacher can also see the reading questions. Let's take a look at the class reading option now. When you click on class reading, you'll immediately notice how similar the two screens are. This time, you can only select one reading. We're going to select the old man and his goat. You can also select student activities here. We're going to select some different ones. In fact, we'll only select timed reading and the quiz, and we do want the vocabulary. So we'll click Start Reading, and once again, this is sped up, but you can see that you'll get instantaneous information about the words per minute for each student, and you can see the quiz answers that they're giving, if they've got the answer correct or incorrect. It also shows how many times they've looked words up. Now we're going to look at some student data. I simply click on a student, and I've chosen Peter Flanagan. Right now, you'll notice that we're collecting information of what he's doing on his current reading, The Old Man and His Goat. We see his words per minute and how many answers he's gotten correct from the quiz. We also can see a list of the words that he's looked up. Going back up to the top, we can see how many readings he's completed. He's done seven. We can see his average words per minute across those readings, which is 200 words per minute. We can see the percent of answers he's gotten correct on all these quizzes, which is 82%, and we can see how many words he's looked up, 14. Down at the bottom, we have this graph that shows his class rank and identifies him as the third in his class. This is calculated by looking at the words per minute and the comprehension. How does he rate compared to the other students? Looking over in this section, we see some data about his reading. The first one shows the percent of answers correct and the words per minute. You can see a correlation here, as was expected, but it shows for each reading what his percentage of correct answers was and how fast he read. Below this, we see how many questions he got right. We can see by question type, we have main idea, detail, vocabulary, inference, and sequencing. Down below, it gives you some information about what types of questions he's answered and how many. This next graph over here is about vocabulary. Each one of these boxes represents one word. The size of the box corresponds to how many total students looked up that word. You'll notice that some of these terms are blurred and some of them are highlighted. The highlighted terms represent the words that Peter has looked up in the dictionary. There's also a place where teachers can put comments. We've seen how Read Now can address the concerns that teachers have. It provides the data they need to make the decisions to help students become better readers.